like me, we both came out here to Los Angeles around right. the same time. Have you settled into being an Angelino? This place is shitty. You know, like I am. Uh, <laughs> like. <laughs> No, I know. Like, right. Look, I, don't worry. Look. Only ninety percent of the crowd is from here. I've lived I here a long time. Me. I like it, but I, it chips away at your soul in weird ways. You right? Does, how does it chip away at your soul? Well, there's no seasons. All right. So, and initially, you think like, well, that's great. It's kind of nice all the time. And you're like, yeah, but you don't feel time going by. Right. Right. So one day you just wake up and you're like, I've been here twelve years. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember why I came out here. Like, I, don't, I don't think it worked out, though. I don't think it worked out. <laughs> well, what about, okay, did you, over, after you're here for a little while, you sent some... Oh, yeah, okay, that's right. There, there, there are seasons. Like, once a year, you'll find yourself saying, like, well, there are ants and shit's on fire. Uh, <laughs> must be summer. <laughs> how, like, how, does, how is that not shipping away your soul I when know. you actually just accommodate the idea, like, yep, once a year, everything just burns here. It's just thousands of acres. <laughs> that's, that's L.A. It's fire time. <laughs> and then, like, panicky friends and relatives call from the East Coast. They're like, are you all right? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And they're like, the fires. And I'm like, oh, that's not by me. Uh... I don't know where that is. What's the name of the town? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know. That might be by me. I'm not sure. Yeah. I think we're okay. No, it's so massive here <laughs> that whenever something in the news happens and it's from Los Angeles, it could still be 60 miles away from yeah, you. Yeah, well, yeah. You would have no idea. That, well, that's, that's the other worst thing is just like, you know, like I know, <laughs> you know we weren't even going to talk about this, but I cannot deal with, this is how it chips away at your soul. Like if I have to get up in the morning and I know I got to travel seven and a half miles, like I have to say to myself, well, shit, I better give myself an hour for seven and a half miles. Like, I gotta go to that building over there. I should have left last night. <laughs> How is that not ridiculous? It's not, it's not good.